Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. It is Wednesday, June 12th. Wanted to review the books that are coming out next Wednesday the 19th. Uh, go through the, the list here uh, on Midtown's website. So let's jump on into it here. Um, these are the books that are coming out, starting with uh, Dark Horse. Um, looks like Dark Horse, uh, I don't know why Disney is revamping this, but it looks like they're coming out with a Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, so that might do okay. I mean, there's uh, obviously a Disney audience, and that could be a book that uh, gets some attention. Um, so that may be something to, to put on your watch list, uh, or maybe pick that up and see see how it does. Uh, Hellboy and the BPRD, Beast of Vargu. And you've got your A cover there, which is which is pretty nice. Um, is that Stuart? Looks like uh, F Fregretto and Stuart. And then you've got a nice um, B cover by Mignola. So that might be worth uh, picking up. I like a lot of Hellboy books, so I tend to buy them. I don't know much about this book. Trout Hollowest Knock, number one. Uh, interesting cover. Blaming him for the loss of the children of Lower Upton, the townsfolk burn down Giuseppe's turnip factory and run him out, uh, run him and Trout out of town. Sick and distraught, the two have no other re recourse but to travel across the ocean to Giuseppe's childhood village. Trout is lost along the way. Giuseppe is forced to deal with his brother's meddling in order to find the mysterious little boy he's sworn to protect. Can Giuseppe find him before Trout meets his fate at the hands of the god of the sea? Okay. Could be interesting. Um, yeah, Dark Horse has some pretty, uh, pretty interesting books coming out here lately. Still not, I'm still trying to get used to Midtown's website here. I don't know. I, I, you can't, if you click on to get details and read what's going on in the book and you try to go back, it it flips out. I mean, I don't know. The, the, the website is not the most seamless. Uh, okay, that does it for Dark Horse. Uh, DC, Aquaman number 49. Beautiful cover by Middleton. I, I mean, I when I saw this, what, a couple months ago, when the solicitations came out, I got on this right away and pre-ordered it. I love this cover. I mean, this thing is like a painting. <laughs> I mean, this thing is, this is wall art, okay? If you're into comic books, um, I don't know, if, if you love really good artwork, I don't know how you can't buy this. I mean, this is just, I mean, that's a beautiful painting. Look at that thing. I love, I love that cover. That's probably my favorite cover coming out next week is that Aquaman 49 Middleton cover. And Middleton has not been really that great lately. I mean, the last couple Middleton covers I did not buy. But that one I really, really like. So that one I definitely pre-ordered. Uh, Batman number 73. Uh, both covers are nice. This is the uh, Janin cover. Really nice uh, color artwork there on that image. And then also you've got a nice Ben Oliver cover, which is pretty cool. I love a black cover. So that one I like. Both those, I believe I pre-ordered both those. Uh, Justice League 26. I think there's some something going on in Justice League. I think I picked up 25. I haven't read it yet, so I may be picking that up. Uh, Lucifer number nine. I did pre-order this book. I just love this cover. I've not been reading Lucifer. I think I picked up the first issue. Uh, I think the cover artwork on that was by Jeffrey Shaw, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I just... Really, really like some of this artwork that uh, comes out on these Lucifer books. This one is just awesome. I mean, the background with the when you got the tiger, you got a lion, you got a bear. It's got a warthog. I mean, it's just really cool. So that's that's probably my second favorite cover so far. I mean, Aquaman is probably my first, and this would be a really close second. So, Lucifer number nine. That is definitely a book that I pre-ordered. I would suggest you pick that up if you haven't already. You really like beautiful art. Um, 
Yeah, Nightwing had a Warren Lau cover. It's okay. Nightwing is a lot of Nightwing covers have been uh, putri. This they, it looks like they're switching over to to Warren Lau on this one, but and A covers okay. I'm, I, I'm Nightwing is is an okay read. It's mediocre. It's it's not like a fabulous read, but uh, I usually pick up those putri covers, so I may probably skip that one. Uh, Superman Year One. Um, Miller and Romita, I don't know. Unless I hear something really great that this is a fantastic read, I'll probably skip buying this. I'm not a big John Romita fan. I'm not a fan of his artwork. And Frank Miller's writing, eh, it's very hit and miss the last few years. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not pick that up and just wait to hear if there's any really if there's anything really good on it. I may go back and buy it, but uh, I'll probably. Not picked that up initially. Uh, Teen Titans 31. I think I picked up the A cover here. Uh, you know, this is continuation. I think in 30, uh, Lobo meets his daughter for the first time. And I think there's going to be a lot more content about that in issue 31. So I definitely think it's worth picking up. You might find more details about Crush's mother. Um, you've also got the Garner cover, which is also very, very nice. Uh, I just like the A cover a little bit better on this one. I mean, the Garner cover is nice too, but um, I'm going to go with the A cover on that. And I think that does it for DC Dynamic uh, Dynamite Entertainment. Rather, um, don't think there was anything there that was of too much interest to me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not into James Bond or Battlestar Galactica. Uh, Red Sonia. Uh, I know that. That book has been, I think issue number one came out last week, if I'm not, if I think I'm correct on that, it came out last week. I, I bought a several store variants. If you've been watching my videos, I've been highlighting uh, Red Sonia a lot, so um, not really a fan of the Vampirella and, and Red Sonia and meets Betty and Veronica. <laughs> it's not really my thing, but um, yeah, you got Red Sonia volume eight number five so they they're relaunch yeah they're relaunching red sonia so i think july is when that is getting relaunched so my mistake on that yeah it's going to be july i believe uh mars attack some of these mars attack covers are cool um that c cover is kind of neat i like that I, I know there's been a little bit of heat i noticed early on um some of the mars attacks books have have sold out no idea if this is. It looks like so far this one hasn't. This virgin cover, if one of them is going to sell out, it's probably going to be this virgin cover, which is kind of cool. So it's still available on Midtown. Uh, that, it, that does it for Dy Dynamite Inter Entertainment, IDW. Um, yeah, I don't think there was any. I'm not a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan. Um, so they are relaunching Usagi. Uh, boy, I can't. I'll butcher that name. <laughs> I'll just say Usagi. Right? A lot of people know this character, and you know the, the originals. That's a hot book. I, came, I think it came out in the '80s. Um, you know, high grade copy of that book goes for some like thousands of dollars now. It's crazy. I think there was a sale, like a nine six or a nine eight. It went for like thirty one thousand dollars. It was reported like a week or two ago. It's crazy. So there's a lot of people that are a fan of that Japanese art style. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's interesting. So that may be something, you know, pick your favorite cover there. They don't show the Eastman cover. I think I've seen that, though, on another website. So I know the image is out there. But if I had to pick one, I might go with the B cover, um, the Warren uh, Johnson cover. It's kind of cool. All right. Uh, I think that does it for IDW. Moving on to Image. Uh, reprinting criminal, uh, curse words up to issue 22. I got to give it credit. I mean, it's still pumping out issues. I, I think I have the first two issues of curse words and then that was it. Now it's up to issue 22 and that was obviously a couple years ago. Uh, fair lady number three. I think I picked up the first issue. I don't know if, I think I maybe have picked up the second one. I might, I might continue with this. So far it was pretty good. 
Uh, there is the cover I would get, which is the Christian Ward cover, the B cover. It looks pretty cool. Kind of like that. Uh, Gideon Falls, number 14. This is one that I always highly recommend to people. Uh, I believe I pre-ordered the A cover. I don't remember if I pre-ordered the B cover, and I kind of like that B cover. Um, just a really cool-looking image, so I might be picking that up. Um, I know Little Bird is kind of a hot title lately. First issue sold out, went to a second printing. I think it's going to a third printing now. So there is, you know, they say it's pretty good. The writing on it's good. I've not picked up any of the issues, um, but maybe that's that might be worth picking up. Middle West, I've definitely been picking that up since the beginning. Issue number eight comes out next week. Uh, the writing on it's awesome. Um, so the story is culminating where I believe in this issue, the confrontation between the father and the son finally happened and We'll see what happens, but uh, the writing on it's been excellent, and the artwork is really, really good, too. So one of my top books by Image. Uh, Monstrous 23. I was really into this title when it first came out. Uh, the artwork is beautiful. There's no doubt about it. It's stunning artwork. Uh, Sana Takata does a great job. The writing, uh, yeah, the writing is just, it's a little up and down for me. Um, I think in the beginning it was fairly easy to follow. Now it's like... I feel like I need to go back and reread issues because I'm kind of a little lost as to what's going on. So I'm not the biggest fan of Monstrous, um, but I do continue to buy it because I do s still think it's a great book and, and the artwork is beautiful in it. Now this Port of Earth, I like this cover for some reason. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's like the hand coming out and then the image on the hand. Really, really nice cover. Um, I think I bought the first two issues of Port of Earth, and I, I guess that got optioned, for, I don't know, for a TV show, and I, I know a couple months ago there was a little heat on that book, you know, the issue number one was going for like $15, $20. I have no idea if it's still doing that, and you know, usually that's what happens is the news comes out, you get a little pop in value, and then it kind of settles back down. But that is a cool cover. I mean, I've not been collecting it uh, consistently, but I did pick up the first couple issues, and I do think that is a cool-looking cover, no doubt about it. Um, yeah, these Rumble A covers have been really good lately. They're they're black and white, you know, rendered-type sketches, and oh, they've been pretty good lately. I think Rumble, I've picked up the very first volume, issue number one. You know, what was that? That had to be at least three or four years ago. And I just couldn't get into it. Skyward, I collected the first nine or ten issues and just kind of just lost interest in it. Um, but it is beautifully drawn. You know, the story was decent. Uh, I'm just becoming pickier and pickier as time goes on as to what I continue to buy. Uh, moving on to Marvel. Um, yeah, what am I buying at Marvel these days? Not been buying Captain America. Definitely not going to buy Captain Marvel. Um, Daredevil's been really good. Chip Zdarsky's doing a great job on the writing. Uh, don't think that covers that fantastic. Um, you know, we've kind of been spoiled with Tedesco covers. Uh, what, the first five or six issues, I think, had Tedesco covers. So, not a big fan of the cover, but I do like the book, and I believe I pre-ordered that. Uh, Linnell Francis Yu, I don't know. Lately, I just don't like his artwork. I don't know. And, and usually the colors are very muted. Just not been a fan of his artwork lately. Um, I think he did a lot better three, four years ago. He was a little bit more popular. Uh, Deadpool number 14. You got the Nick Klein cover. Looks like it's a landscape cover. That looks pretty cool. And you got a, also a nice Mark Brooks cover uh, featuring Spider-Man in his iron suit, I believe, right? Um, I like that cover. I mean, Brooks does a great job. Those both look very nice, worth picking up. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number six. Um, I like that cover. David Marquez did a good job on the, on the uh, cover there. Really nice, and it's been a good read. Yeah, Donny Cates writing. Uh, it, it's pretty decent, it's, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's groundbreaking or anything like that, but it's, it's definitely decent. 
And you've also got a B cover by Gerald Perel. I like Perel. It's kind of cool. Silver Surfer coming through the street there. I do like that cover. Uh, Howard the Duck facsimile edition. So if you don't own the original and really think Howard Duck's a great character, maybe you should pick that up. I think I'm going to do a hard pass on that. <laughs> not really into that character. Uh, second printing of Immortal Hulk 17. That's not surprising. The book sells very, very well. Uh, last month it beat Batman. Pretty amazing that it could do that. Um, and I've not been picking up The City at War. I've been kind of skipping that. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number seven. I do like that cover. That's the what digital covers that they've been doing um, for the Spider-Verse. So kind of cool. I like that. Very nice cover. Uh, sort of Conan number six. You've got a nice David Finch cover. Really nice cover by David Finch. And the B cover is a Max Fior Fiorama cover. Very cool. Um, there's also a virgin of, yeah, 85 bucks. I think I'll pass. Uh, Silver Surfer Black. Look, looks like they second printed that. That came out this week. Uh, the, the, I wish they would show me the image of what the second printing looks like. Star Wars books I've been skipping. Um, I've been buying Tony Stark Iron Man, but I don't like this cover that much. So I'm going to pass on that. The writing on it's mediocre. Uh, War of the Realms, I've been kind of skipping that. I've not been reading any of that. Um, I think that does it for Marvel. Uh, Independence. Don't think there was a whole lot on Independence that I was targeting. Um, let me just skim down here. I don't think there was anything that I was really all that interested in. Yeah. I don't know anything about this five years, but that's kind of a cool black and white cover. Um, Honoring Curse number five. I've been consistently buying that, so I'll probably have that picked up. Um, I think that might be it. Oh, Neon Future. I, lo I love the first three issues. That's probably a, that's a must buy for me. I like the A cover the best. Uh, B covers have been pretty good too, but I like the A cover a little bit better. I like that yellow background. It's pretty cool. Uh, no One's number one. Definitely picking that up. That's a Cave Pictures Publishing. Very low publisher. That could heat up uh, because of the print run. And I think that about does it, guys. That's sort of what I was targeting for next week that looks interesting. Yeah, so if... Um, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit the bell for notifications and leave a comment let me know what you think uh, maybe there's something on the list that's coming out next week that i should have highlighted that i didn't let me know that in the comments and i will see you guys on friday with the top 10 list thanks